Hello everyone, this is a PS5, no power. Yeah, pushing the power button is, is not responding at all, no light, no sound. And in the yeah, it take about zero point seven watt. So that's mean it's the power supply. It's not the fuse in the power supply. It's not burnt, and maybe it's not the. Uh, the power supply, but we need to check more. It's plugged, and we're gonna check the 12 volt over there. We don't have no 12 volt output. Oh, this is the second uh, PS5, the same, the same model with the bad uh, power supply. Look like this one, it has the, the fuse in the power supply is still good because we have that 700 milliwatt coming to the console. A lot of liquid metal here. And there is, oh yeah, there is a cockroach hmm? is over there. No, a lot. Kill it. Where is it? Oh, how? Oh Where no, it? kill it. It's over there. Let me get something. Yeah, I see the cockroaches. That guy over there. So there is a sign of cockroaches in it. Yeah, the cockroaches, they love the warm uh, electronics. Oh, too many. There's a lot of them over there. There's a lot of cockroaches inside uh, the console. We had to take it out and to be sure that we don't get no cockroaches in the shop. Yeah, these cockroaches, they love the old houses, apartments, the storage units, and they kill the electronics. Yeah, they charge the two capacitors just with the solder iron. And let's check. Uh, we have less than one volt, less than one volt, so it's safe to work in the, in the power supply now. Okay, let's check the fuse, if it's open. I'm kind of sure it's not open, because, well, let's check it. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, the fuse is good. That's bad. What's hmm? bad? Yeah, I want the fuse to be open. So we have mega 
we have mega ohm and the rectify bridge This is supposed to be a low ohm resistor here, but we have a mega ohm. Look, there is a. Oh yeah. Hmm. This is why. See these cockroaches here. That the cockroach is killed the power supply. Let's show you on the microscope. Yeah, this cockroach is here. That's what is killed the power supply. All right. So the cockroaches make a jumper between. You see this? Yeah. Yeah. Because the cockroaches is conductive. Yeah. That's shorted this point to that point and killed the power supply. So it killed the cockroach? Yeah. Like uh, electric heat, what do you call it? Yes. Yeah. That's what happens? Yep. This poor cockroaches is... Fried. So maybe there is a 300 volt in this point. The other point is going to the to this MOSFET. Alright, let's check that MOSFET. The MOSFET is shorted. All shorted. Oh, 10 ohm right here. Yeah, the two MOSFETs both are shorted. So we still going to need to take this diode and test it because this diode is, is soldered and installed parallel with this resistor. So we have open resistor, these two MOSFETs tested open or tested shorted, plus we need to test this diode. So this one it just is go to the transformer. I think maybe this is the positive side of the... Let's see, where is the capacitor? No, it's not the positive side. There's a negative side of the capacitor. So that's a ground. Or let me take this uh, MOSFET. And hopefully we can fix this power supply. Because there is, there is no way to replace the. This is eighteen N sixty. So it means six hundred volt, eighteen amp MOSFET, and this is an N channel. H in N, 60, and the same thing. So the two MOSFETs are the same thing. N channel. And we check this uh, resistor as well. So 
so far this is the bad component hopefully the IC is still good because the MOSFET is shorted there is a protector diode over there for one for this MOSFET one for that MOSFET right here this A6 you can see it's soldered on parallel with that resistor and look like there's this point here it's go yeah, I don't see where this point is go but usually it's go to the you no know? so it's go to here from you can see from there is a traces going to here and we go all the way to right here this one it's go to this 15 ohm let's go to this pad so there is two diodes and this pad so this IC and this should be the same thing the other uh, MOSFET other MOSFET right there let's go to the this 15 ohm there is a jumper right here there is another jumper it's go right here and it's go to this pad you can check from so one ohm all the way to here should be like 15 oh, should be mega ohm Hundred and fifty one ohm right there. Hundred and sixty, hundred and sixty, hundred and sixty. 160 so it's go to this bed the other MOSFET I think it will go to here 150 then 15 ohm resistor 166 then go to this bed 166 so we just have to take these two diodes and check them because when this one is shorted the high voltage is go on the diode yeah, the resistor next to it it tested good so we just will leave it over there and same thing we take just one pet now we can test it without being worried uh, the diode is gonna run away mm -hmm. so go on diode mode so open this way and if we flip One five. That's so. This diode is good. The other diode. Open this way. One five. So the two diodes are good. So hopefully this component burn it before the voltage reach the the IC finally solder the two diodes back as they are good all right the direction of the diode is here some flux so 
don't want to lost the diet again. Great. This is the bed component and uh, this is the component that I get from another uh, power supply that we are using for ports. Alright, let's check this resistor. 1 ohm and we check these MOSFETs. Just be sure they are working condition. So yep, you can see the symbol of the MOSFET. And this one as well is a NPN MOSFET or end channel MOSFET. Yeah, hopefully the IC is still good. Be sure. So one ohm over there is good. Okay, so let's plug it, then we put us and let's put something on the top of it in case if any explode. And I'm gonna plug it to the power. I see something, the, the watt matter, it's go up to 25 watt, then go back to the 0 0.1 watt. I just unplug it. And we are going to check again to be sure that no mass has burned. So let's discharge the, these capacitors. Go to the vault. So over there is a one volt. That's safe. Okay, let's go to the diode. Okay. One six. No, it's still good. I don't know, this is normal. 1.6.
Let me check another power supply. Oh, this is 0 0.6. That doesn't look like normal. Well, I'm gonna check that MOSFET and test it again. Yeah, if this MOSFET goes bad, it means the IC is bad. We are gonna have to order another IC. No, the MOSFET's still good, so it didn't burn. I just want to be sure. Let's check the point that the cockroach is damaged between here. We have a good connection. Yeah, we have connection. Why this one is giving me 0 0.06? Let's see between 0 0.6, 0 0.6, point zero six basically. Zero point two. Hmm. All right. I keep checking around and uh, it just it, it did give me a right reading. Could be just a charge. So here is a open, and if we flip, you remember it was zero point zero six. Now it's a zero point two. Same reading as this bed power supply. So two here, and if we flip, 0 0.2. Yeah, this power supply, it has, this section is bad. The cold section, not the hot one. In case if, uh, if it doesn't work, I can cut this power supply from here and I will use this cold section and the other side I use this uh, I use the hot section from this power supply and cold section from this power supply and I'll check the fuse to be sure the fuse is still good yep it's still good the fuse didn't burn again we're gonna plug it so let's watch the amp matter Four, twenty-six, and zero point one. That's what it was doing the first time. So I don't see no smoke, no burning. Okay, let's go check the the voltage. Twelve volt. Twelve volt. It works. It works. Let me disconnect it. Yeah, it works. It's fixed. So that's what it was bad in this power supply. Two MOSFETs and one low ohm resistor.
Urăci. Abracadabra, plac ce de power supply. And uh, it's... Plug it to the power. 6 watt. 1 watt, 4 watt. So about... 0 watt. Okay. It turns on. Okay, let's get the HDMI cable. So I already want the white uh, lights. And we have the display. 4K display. Look like this power supply, they have a lot of issues, they are weak. This is the second PS5 in one week with the same issue. And the problem, there is no replacement uh, part available. Other thing that you can do, you can buy the regular power supply. If you have the hot side problem, you can buy other power supply, carry from here and use the cold, your cold side with the with the hot side of the new one because what you need is this connector to be here to be like that one so yeah, just to see the difference so this one the con this one the connector is here but the uh, the power supply this this ps5 model it, that using they have the connector right here almost right here so you can use your cold side with other hot side but that if you have the problem in the hot side if you have the problem in the cold side like this power supply it has the problem here you can do nothing to it so this is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you again.